the healing light, source of the cure, origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some. Oh, gross. Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Followers. Think fast, beard butt! How the... You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! Not quell a god. <laughs> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No, wait, Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Ugh. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. Teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him. Convince him to come back to reality. Uh, Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. I've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Oh. 
This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greeny can never stop... <laughs> uh, I'm not the only one that hears that, right? Reunion. Hey, Gamora. I'm gonna enjoy this. Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! Danger close, Rocket! Miss, what's with that helmet? Better than therapy! Maybe still consider therapy! <laughs> not so tough after all. Something's not right. You failed to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I'd remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target wreck. doesn't want us to reach Drax. on that. Left. Huh? You can see Your friend me? is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no help... There! Look! Hey! How did you beat me? <laughs> because I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No. I chased it. But it was too quick. Fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa, are you all right? Drax, come here! It is time to come home. What the fuck is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not 
in Kansas anymore. Mark are those spawn of shadow. Snuff their source while I widen our They're way. They're coming from those nests. Get past. At least we I can have torches. Prepare to be pulled within. Hold on to your tails. Don't you dare. My cleaning wood gets out of my car. Everyone all right? Fine, all right. I think we gotta look at whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. Is that? Drax's wife. I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, wind. Easy, all right. We got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big lug. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask. bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping! Oh, wizard. Alright, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or... whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. Drax! Come on, buddy! I know you can hear me! This ain't flarkin' funny! I know you're in a dark place right now. Literally! But we're not gonna give up! Just point us in the right direction. There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us, I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. That makes two of us. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. Look, I get it, man. They seem really special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat. The most fearless mate I have ever known. She brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were. My family is gone. What sits before me? 
I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it, I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a team. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. It's not her. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had. And not resent the time that we lost. And honor you both. Always. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. Peter Quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Time to go. Hey, Goldie Braun! Wanna get back here and explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Hey. Imagine. Ambivalent omnipotence, drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark... Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose, until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent, 
plagued by a pox I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed, symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools, fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorged with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Perel was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivably. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. I mean, we could get her back. Essence can be retained, but not restored. Her echo acts as anchor, manipulated by Magus to deceive the daughter. So, it's like Corel said. Nikki needs to accept her death. This feat is not so easily done. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive this ever. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you- What's going- Oh, Flark. Oh, Flark. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. We need to go, now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? 
These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. Wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. Hey, Warlock. Open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle, then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul, and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it! I swear I'll be a good leader. That I'll be decisive, and... and uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. That's good enough for me. 